Hey guys, welcome to Daytona, welcome to BMW Black YouTube channel and welcome to the brand new BMW M2. You've seen the car before, of course, Zenvor Blue, but once again, let's kind of walk around the car, show you the new design and talk about the specs a little bit. So once again, new generation M2 replacing the F87, brand new design, as you can see, it kind of moves away from your typical BMW design cues, no more double headlamps, just a single headlamp, so that's one of the biggest changes on the car, clearly. The car does look a lot more squarish than on the outgoing generation. Of course, no surprise there. You've seen the M240i and the new 2 Series, so that's built exactly on that. Very aggressive front end, of course, as you'd expect from an M car. Larger intakes right here, of course, to the front as well. Probably the biggest change on the car, it's really this skinny grille. It's not as big as on the M3 and M4, clearly, and it's motorsport inspired. And what I mean by that, it kind of features these horizontal slats in there, which are quite unique to the car and very different from the M240i. Because it's a 50 years anniversary of M or was last year, they do have a new badge on the car. So that's the anniversary logo. Once again, you've seen that before. I am gonna just turn on the car for a second so you can see the lights, what they look like when they're on. Once again, single headlamp with a really nice graphic inside. And of course, the single bulb right there. Now, if we move to the side, your typical BMW M2 design, very uh, short overhang, really long hood. You also got a power dome hood. So that's a first on the BMW M2. It's something you usually see on the M3 and M4. Big, big change there. Of course, carbon fiber roof always helps with downforce, lightweight, and it's much needed in this car since it's quite heavy. And mirrors, no surprise, of course, everybody expects those and mirrors. And uh, it looks actually really nice with the blue and black surroundings. One thing that we've noticed today, you know, it's aside from the typical Ziegler line, the character line that runs across the car that emphasizes the boldness of the car, the width. You also have this rocker panel, kind of similar to what you see on the XM maybe, but of course it's very different. So you, you can see these 3D shapes right here, kind of creates this, you know, shadow and light combination. Very interesting, very cool, especially stands out on the color that we have here today, Zenvor Blue. Flush door handles, so once again, it's a first on the M2 from the typical door handles. Looks clean and uh, probably helps with aerodynamics as well. Big wheels, of course, Pirelli P0, performance tires. You got the M anniversary logo right there, red calipers. No surprise, this once again, exactly what you expect to see on the M2. Now, if we move to the back, this is probably where you're gonna see how bold the car is and how wide. And they've done a really good job making sure that the car really stands out on the road. So you can see these really broad shoulders. They really stick out quite a bit. I don't remember the exact figure, but it was quite impressive compared to the regular two series. L inverted taillights. So you usually have the typical BMW taillights are kind of L shaped, pointing upwards. This one kind of point downwards. And you can see the graphics a little bit too. So you got this really nice 3D shape, especially sculpted inside. It looks really good at night, as you can see here as well. Of course, M diffuser. This is not a carbon fiber, but you can get one from the M Performance guys. Really large tailpipes, if I remember correctly, they're 100 millimeters in size, really big. It sounds really good. Of course, it's the same S58 engine you see in the M3 and M4, but it really looks good on this car, especially with this exhaust. You got a very solid spoiler right here. Of course, you can go crazy with the M Performance parts and you can get the M uh, carbon fiber spoiler as well. Now, let's take a look inside, maybe from this side. So if I open the door, you can see right away, large curve display, iDrive 8. Again, no surprise there. Everything is moving towards that with BMW. So the M2 got that. Six-speed manual, my favorite thing in the car. Of course, it's offered with an eight-speed automatic, but it's always nice to see that you have the option to get a six-speed manual at no cost. Carbon bucket seats, typical what you see in the M3 and M4. Really nice combination of colors, uh, blue and red, typical to the M colors. And uh, of course, carbon fiber all around. You got an insert on the dashboard. You got inserts right there. And your typical M steering wheel, where you do have the carbon fiber inserts too. One cool thing right here, you can see the M logo in the door hand, in the door panel right there. So quite unique. I think it's offered in the M240i, but it's still nice to see it on this car. So that's kind of the 
quick overview of the BMW M2. We will have a chance to drive the car in the near future, actually very, very soon, so we'll be able to tell you our driving impressions. I did drive a prototype version about a year ago, and I told you that time that I was quite impressed. I feel like it starts at the M2 CS level already, so you can kind of deduct how great this car is, especially on the track. But we will have a road review coming up in, in the next few weeks, and I will be able to tell you more. And of course, I'm going to show the car in different colors as well. We've seen it so far in mainly Zenvor blue, but I want to take a look at the Sapphire Black, for example, and Alpine White. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Live from Daytona, and I will see you in the next video. Woo! One take.